Of course, we are heading closer to fall. It's still prime time where vegetable gardens are producing crops. This morning, Ansley Watson is at Partridge Creek Farms telling us more about how they're doing for production. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. This isn't just a place where it grows vegetables and fruits, but it's also a place where it really grows the community as well. I'm standing in Ishming on the corner of First and Euclid, where the garden is located. And this is really, truly for the people who live in this area. People can come and help plant. They can help tend to the gardens. They can help harvest. And there's so many other ways that you can get involved as well. So later in the hour, we're going to go in the garden. I think there's a few things that need to be picked. So we might do that this morning and then just talk about the ways that you can become a partner in this garden. So reporting live in Ishmael, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. It's a fantastic place to check out this morning. We've definitely had some pretty good gardening weather lately, you know, between nice heat and a little bit of rain. Yeah, we're Partridge Creek Farms in Ishpeming is a community garden providing not only food but life skills. This morning, Ansley Watson is there telling us more about how they do that. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Well, I've already had my fill of vegetables this morning. Just pulled a <laughs> carrot up from one of the gardens and I ate that delicious. Joining me this morning is Dan Perkins, and he's the farm director here for Partridge Creek Farms. Good morning. Hi, Ansley. Thank you for coming down and paying us a visit this morning. No problem. We're in the greenhouse here, surrounded by a ton of basil, tomatoes. It's looking great. Yes. Um, well, this is our uh, incubator site, downtown Ishpeming, mm -hmm. and uh, we have five farms now. Um, as you know, we are a nonprofit uh, educational farm, the Partridge Creek Farm is. And what we do is we teach kids about food and we try to get them excited about an agricultural economy because we want to get a, a farming community going again in this northern part of the UP. Now you're saying there's kind of a disconnect from kids kind of knowing where their food comes from now and this is a way to kind of get them back into that. Well, exactly. I, th these kids, are, a lot of them have never seen where a carrot comes from, for instance. You pull a carrot, you wash it off, and they're thrilled. And they, it gets them excited about uh, local food and about growing things. And then, then the next thing you do is you teach them how to cook it and how to prepare mm -hmm. it. And, uh, and then you, you, uh, if you, every once in a while you'll find one that wants to grow and, uh, and get food back into their, uh, into their lifestyles. Now, some, some kids don't do well in, uh, in class settings, so they go for... Uh, they go for these, uh, they go for hands-on trades, and I think that the farming is, is one that makes sense for them. Have you seen that in kids coming down, them getting very excited about coming and picking stuff out of the gardens? Oh, yes. I mean, they become little thieves. They come down <laughs> here and they steal from us all the time, which is exactly what we want them to do. We want them to, uh, to, to, uh, to come down here and nibble. We want to create places all around town where they can graze. And you said there's five different farms, five different locations. Where are all those other locations at? Well, we, we're growing uh, at the Head Start Center in Ishpeming. We've got a larger farm on the west end side at Annie Turney's Horse Farm. Uh, we've got a, a, a 30 by 72 foot hoop house over there, a big growing operation there. And then we've got uh, the Great Lakes Recovery Center. We're doing a, uh, a community garden there, and then we're working with all the kids in there. We're actually going to make maple syrup with them this spring. Really? Yeah. We've got 50 trees we're going to tap. We've laid them all out and marked them. and. Uh, so we should be making about 40 gallons of maple syrup with them this spring. Very neat. You always want people to get involved. You want people to come out and help you out. How do people do that? Well, people just show up. When you start building gardens in a downtown, people show up. The kids show up first, and then their parents wonder where they're at, and they come and they, they look, and next thing you know, you've got a community. It's, it's really that simple. If you grow in a downtown, you're going to have a community. Absolutely. I mean, we look around, you're growing a lot of different variety of vegetables, fruits, herbs, flowers. Kind of talk about what you guys have here. Well, this is a big bed of basil. We're about to harvest it and make a, a big batch of pesto. We just harvested 3,000 garlics. So we've got a huge amount of, uh, of now it's time to do the prepared foods. Like we're, we're going to be getting tomatoes. And with three weeks, we'll have a huge am ver amount of tomatoes. And uh, we also have, uh, well, potatoes and, and large, large uh, harvesting crops come out this time of year. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Is that something where you need people to come help harvest? Do you have actually, that help already? Actually, we do need a lot of help right now. The, we do, the harvesting and preparing takes a lot of hands, and uh, many hands make light work. So we, we will be setting up volunteer events where we'll be preparing and canning our foods. And how would they contact Partridge Creek Farms then? PartridgeCreekFarm.org. And then you can sign up as a volunteer or as a member. And uh, so, yeah, we, we would encourage people to do that. Okay, Dan, well, later in the hour, we're going to go outside and check out more of the farm here, so stay with us. Reporting live in Ishmael, Ansley Watson, TV6 News.
All right, sounds great. Thank you very much, Ansley. I'll tell you that fresh food is just incredible. I love it. Yeah, not yeah. a bad way to start your day out. Not right. at all. Slightly better. Welcome back. A community garden in Ishpeming focuses on growing affordable and nutritious food for everyone. Ansley Watson explains more on Partridge Creek Farms and its impact. Good morning, Ansley, and try and balance out that caramel apple. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. You got me. So I did eat a caramel apple this morning, but I've also been eating carrots, so it works, right? Deal. I am at Partridge Creek Farms, joined by Dan Perkins, who is the farm director. Thanks for being with me this morning. Thank you, Ansley. It's great to be here. No problem. So this truly is more of an educational farm, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, we're trying to uh, bring uh, Ishpeming back into the farming community. We, we're a bit of a food desert here. As, as a matter of fact, UP imports 92% of its mm -hmm. food. It's a huge opportunity. We want to bring... Uh, agriculture back to the UP in a big way. So we, we, we need an educational base for doing that. We want to teach kids about growing food. And so we've built gardens all over town and we're working with NMU, we're working with a bunch of people. And it's great to see these farmers markets developing. We've got a, a farmers market tonight, as a matter of fact, at Miner, Miners Park in Nagani. And then there's the Saturday markets in Marquette, nine to one in Marquette Commons. And it's great to see these young farmers building uh, wonder, wonderful uh, venues of food. Oh, we're on the corner of First and Euclid here in Ishpeming. This is just one of the sites here, in, in, um, like I said, in Ishpeming, in the incubator site. What are some of the farm, other farm locations? Well, I, we have a farm at, at the uh, Head Start here in Greenwood location. We've got a farm at the uh, Ishpeming High School. We've got a farm in the uh, Great Lakes Recovery Center. And we've got a large farm on the west end of town, and we've got this incubator site right in downtown Ishpeming. And we just want to green up this place and get food growing everywhere and kids just nibbling and grazing all around town. Well, talking about nibbling and grazing, like I said, we're going to pick some carrots here. You have some right here for us. Let's go ahead and get some. Okay. Well, let's pull one of these bigger ones over here. And now, how can you tell if they're bigger or not? Well... Well, they just got big, thicker stems. Okay. Like, here's one right here. Oh, look at that. It's plenty of size for eating. And I've got one right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, you pulled up a little guy. Oh, no, well, he'll come back to life. We'll plat him back in. <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> Live, little baby carrot. Okay, I'm going to rinse these off, and you and I are going to eat these things, Oh, okay? yummy. They're so fresh, so good. What other kinds of vegetables do you have here? And fruits and herbs. There's a lot to offer here in these gardens and farms. Everything. We've got them all. We've got all the vegetables. And notice this is a kind of a redder carrot. We've got all different colored carrots here. But uh, these, are, these are red ones. Mm. Now, aren't they sweet? There's something very sweet about a fresh picked carrot. They, they don't, are. They go star starchy after you store them, but there's something very sweet about this. <laughs> you grow some sweet carrots, that's for sure. These are great. Mm. What other programs would you like to talk about? There's a composting program coming up. Oh, yes. The composting program is very important to us. We want to start a municipal composting program where people bring their compost and put them into buckets at their own house and we'll pick them up. Uh, we're working with North Country Waste and Disposal and the Market Co-op and um, we're trying to get uh, people to 50 people to start a pilot program. So these would be people who would be willing to pay to have us pick up their their compost because we have to pay the hauler to come get it. It'd be thirty dollars a month and these 50 people would run a program that we would then present to the municipalities as a possibility of this is a way that we can harvest all of these compostable materials and turn it into soil. And then we can, we need to build soil to grow farms around here. We don't have a lot of soil, so the way to do it is to compost and build worm castings and use worms and, 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 uh, and just build soil. And so we're hoping to start a composting program. We need 50 volunteers to come in and build this pilot project with us. Okay, now this is a great connection, like you said, for kids to come and help pick. Can people come help harvest? Oh, yeah. We've got a, a, a volunteer uh, group that's going to help us with, uh, with this project, and we, we need more. So please come sign up at PartridgeCreekFarm.org. Thank you so much, Dan, for being with us. Really appreciate it. Take care, Ansley. Reporting live in Ishmael, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 More News after the break.